Hey there, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, you guys watched me harvest the Victorian Trading Company catalog um, a few days ago. Let me show you what that looks like. And it's cool because I've gotten notifications from the companies that I ordered catalogs from that they are on their way, which is sweet because I'm hoping to get some more of this Halloween imagery. Uh, I like Halloween imagery all year long, so if I get it, I'm going to be super happy and I can uh, use it for all kinds of cool art projects. This is, um, I'm taking the one pocket page that I curated um, to make a few ATCs. Now, I want to show you this. This is by Mike Deacon, so you can find it at MikeDeaconArt.com. I'll put that in the description box below. This is nine artist trading coin backs. I love, love, love working with these. And you can see I'm going to do three today. They come together quick and easy. You don't have to cut them or punch them or whatever you want to do. I don't have... Um, punches and stuff like that so to me having I think this was a dollar <laughs> and I have printed and printed and printed it um, it's just the greatest way to to do art trading coins all right so what we're gonna do real quick is um, we're gonna put together three ATCs these are 2.5 inch uh, ATCs um, you might recall that an art trading card is two and a half by three and a half. So, you know, we could we could even do we've got our art trading cards already cut. Remember that they went into our pockets. It's just sort of separators. So here's one right here. So, you know, if we want to, I thought what we would do is spend about ten minutes to see, you know, what we could come up with here. Um I've got a little bit of Mod Podge and a little bit of tacky glue, so let's let's see what we can make happen. I know that I put a lot of girl imagery in this pocket. I want to take those out, and as I'm taking them out, I'm going to go ahead and take out the ATC as well. So because we got all our stuff together, we might as well just go ahead and and um, do as much as we can. I love this image. Um, I am going to put her on this art trading coin. And then I'll add some words or I might add other imagery to this. Uh, I'm going to put this down, take a just a regular ink pen. I'm going to trace around it. Take a little pair of scissors and cut that puppy out. When I was in Venice, one of the most... Venice was intriguing. You know, you're walking down medieval alleyways, you know, uh, that are hundreds of centuries old, you know. Um, just remarkable, but anyway, you know the um, the royalty in in Venice was keen to have mask balls. So of course, there's um, there's all kind of mask imagery in these uh, in these stores. Do we need to be a little closer? Hold on, color hold, please. There we go. I'm going to just stick this down with some Mod Podge. So that one was like super easy, right? And then I'm going to go, you know, as we progress with these, I'll go back and see if there's there's always something that I find that I would I say, oh, that goes super cool with that one. Um, this is the top, so I'm going to place this image this way. And then I'll just lay it aside and let it dry. Let's go ahead and do another one. Do we want to stick with the girls? Let's stick with the girls. They're so pretty. Um, she is not going to fit on here. Only part of her is going to fit. So what I want to do with this is just uh, like lay down a little background before. And yeah, you can see that that's not going to fit as well. But it's okie dokie. You'll see how it all works out very nicely in the end. 
as most things do. I have to tell y'all a funny story. <laughs> um, our garage door broke. Uh, we live in a really old house. And it was sort of kind of scary when something breaks because you aren't going to be able to find, you know, like, mm, you can't find a replacement for it. Uh, it's going to be a quirky size and all that stuff. But anyway, we were super lucky. Uh, went to Lowe's and did find the size that fit the garage, which I was really happy about. The rub was that we needed to remove the old, old wooden and glass door, which Chris is great at demolition and putting things up. He's, he's super smart at things like that. But the, the rub was we didn't have a truck to haul everything away. And uh, finally tracked down one of our neighbors. See how nice that looks? And it was a, it's a, a book quilt, you know, a quilt. Hold on there. There we go. Um out of this magazine. Um, and the craziest thing was we got home yesterday from Lowe's after, you know, we um, got in touch with our neighbor about borrowing the truck. And I mean, it was just like the ordeal had already started. You know, then you have to go to the dump and not ordeal. You know, it's just house stuff. It's just home stuff. Stuff that, you know, you just got to deal with all the time. If you, you know, if you're living in a house. Um, but anyway, you guys, this is so funny. See how pretty she looks right there? Um, I had a flyer in my mailbox when we got home from Lowe's. And guess what Saturday is? It is cleanup day in our neighborhood. <laughs> so I messaged my neighbor back and I was like, dude, I do not need your truck. And he was like, why? And so I sent him a... A photo of the flyer. It's like, you know, I mean, sometimes you just got to think, well, Providence just moved there, didn't it? <laughs> so cool. Okay, we're going to let her dry before we, um, before we, we, um, before we even her up. So let's see what else we got. We're going to stick with the girls. I really do love the girls, y'all. Um, let me stick this one back in here before it gets lost. All right, let's do that. I think what we can do here, remember the pumpkins that we cut out? Because we, I thought that catalog was November too, you, you, you guys. I, it's like, uh oh. All right, okay, let's stick this pumpkin imagery on here and we're just gonna use that as a nice background. There we go. So let's lift up and see what we have. All right. Uh oh, I got a little bit of orange there. That's all right. No big whoop. So there we go. Um, I can go ahead and trim this up. I did not do a terrible gluing job there. Go ahead and trim that up. Jeez, guys, sorry. I don't even have my bifocals on, but it is hard to see up here today for some reason or another. We have sun today, my friends. Woohoo! Boy, we haven't had sun in a long time. We've had tornadoes, but we haven't had sun. Oh, I just think she's super pretty on that. All right, so let's kind of tear her out. Oh, yeah, she just looks beautiful there. And let me grab my brush, and we'll put her on here, and about the time we probably, she'll be dry enough to trim up, then we can be able to trim up our little lady in waiting right here. My scissors are a wee sticky. Okay, there we go. So that's what she looks like. Isn't she pretty? Love her. All right, let's find a cool word. These words were also from the catalog. It's fun to just stick them in a pocket by themselves. Um, let's put this back in here so we don't have a huge mess. 
I see a word that would work great, but I'm not. It might be too big. I love this this um, this uh, caption that says "Charmed Life," but I think we can use just the charmed part of it. Tammy? Yeah. Do you have PayPal? I do. Um, I've got some stuff outside that I'm selling. Okay. I got one guy who wants me to ship it. Um. Which I'll do is I'll get it boxed up or whatever, just have you take it you know, every next time you go to the post office. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, Chris needed me. Uh, okay, so this says charmed, and I love it. So we're going to take a small, um, I love my, I love my tiny ink pad. So we'll just do this just a little bit. Catalogs are rocking, y'all. And, you know, we talked last time about just not having to dump your whole stash on your, uh, you know, on your desk. You know, when you try and clean up and you go, well, I'm going to take 15 minutes and I'm going to clean up. And it's like three hours later, you're going, oh my gosh, why did I even start? <laughs> there we go. I think she's cool. She says charmed. Can you see? Sorry, my light is not very good in here today. There we go. All right, let's choose a couple more. I believe she's draw now since we had our help Chris intermission a while ago. She's draw. I did get some orange on her, but it's not a big deal. I love her. Uh, so we can put the word life on this one since we didn't quite have enough room to do charmed life. Mm, I'm going to have to kind of set that at an angle and then trim that off. And hope we kind of get the whole word. This is one of those things, too. I just don't think about it. Just do it. <laughs> it's uh, kind of one of those slapdash kind of things. Uh, that you can put together really quick. I love this one. This word says macabre. So I think that's what we'll use. And the font, you know, in this catalog goes great with the imagery in the catalog. These are so tiny. I don't think I will go around them with my tiny ink pad. They're just way too tiny. I'll put that down here. And there we go. So this one is all finished. Oops, sorry. There we go. <clears throat> Waiting on that one to dry. Well, we got our stuff out. Let's just go ahead and, and do an ATC. Um, I am in love with the skeleton guy. So I think we'll put him here and kind of offset him. And then maybe use a witch or a fairy or mm, that boot is looking good too. These are ATCs that I cut from cereal boxes. And cereal is mostly consumed by our pal Jack and his brother Coop. I like that vibe. I like, uh, you know... I like that I use cereal boxes that little kids ate the cereal. I love me some little kids. Being a teacher for 10 years make you love little kids or dislike them. In my case, it made me love them. <laughs> okay, so we got this guy down. He's going to be sticky if I don't get him up. Let's see. Okay. Kinda like the boot. Kinda, kinda. Kinda digging the hands up here. Yeah, 
I think that's better. Luckily this is sticky enough from that that I don't even have to worry about it. And here is a tiny little witch. Can we put her in the corner? I'm going to have to kind of... Mm, I'm afraid to tear that frame, you guys, but we can certainly kind of cut around it. Kind of keep the imagery. There we go. Mm. My pudge here. There we go. Okay, let's let this one dry. And you see how you can just work off the just work off of it. Don't don't try and make it fit. You know, it's a lot more fun if you just don't make it fit. Okay, so we've got macabre. We've got this one that says life that we need to trim the top off of. I'm sorry this took longer than 10 minutes, but we had a little intermission. Um, and this one says charmed. Here we go. Looking pretty good. All right, let's trim this one up and see what it looks like. Might have to dry it first, you guys. Yep, I'm going to step away and dry. Okay, friends, I'm back. Uh, this is how the little ATC turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. I put the word um, trick right in the middle. I love the little witch. Um, she's got... There's something that says wheels right there, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. It looks like an old photograph. But there we go, guys. In just a few minutes, with a couple of intermissions, we <laughs> were able to do three ATCs and one art trading card. Try the pocket method and the binder method for organizing your things. I can promise you that you will have good results with it. It's a lot. Uh, less overwhelming than trying to dump out your whole like stash on your desk and work with it. So there we are guys. Have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.